AT&T Technology Lab recently unveiled some new devices and applications that the company hopes will take mobile connectivity for business professionals to a whole new level. Here's ABC's Moshe Gaines with a sneak peek inside AT&T's Technology Lab. The AT&T Technology Showcase in Washington highlighted some fascinating new technologies from mobile services and emerging devices, and I had the chance to preview some of them. I'm here with Sarah Gaeta from Plastic Logic, and we've got a very interesting thing here. Uh, this is the Q, correct? And That's the Q Pro Reader. And let's talk a little bit about this. Sure. So this is the first Pro Reader. It's an e-reader device targeted at the business professional so that you can have all of your business content and other content together in one place to replace that big stack of paper that's in your briefcase, kind of between your laptop and your smartphone. So this is different than the Kindle, though? Absolutely right? different because it's really targeted at the business user. For example, typical business document like a PowerPoint slideshow you can have on the device. You can go ahead and page through it and if you want to make comments you can make comments for yourself or for others by simply marking up the document. Commercial content I'm interested in like newspapers like USA Today or magazines and on cue a newspaper looks like a newspaper right so I've got my stories I've got my I know it's USA Today the, the marketing or the branding is there I can page through I can even just tap to go to a story okay so it's very easy to navigate by simply tapping around. If I read the story, I want to go to the next page. I'm just going to swipe and turn the page essentially. So exactly like the print product, but now done so that it's easy to consume electronically and in a lightweight manner. I have it here. I don't have to carry the paper in my bag. If I'm interested in um, looking at this and I want to really just see just see that text because that's what I care to read, I easily tap and the text is shown to me. So I get the context of the information, but I also get the content of the information. And these are out now, available? Uh, they'll actually be available in April. We announced at CES, so we'll be shipping in April. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Thanks for your time. The Q's base price is $649, and it becomes available in April. Its 10.7-inch display makes it the largest in the industry. And while the Apple iPad is video and application heavy, the Q is geared towards the business professional, creating a one-stop shop for documents, newspapers, magazines, and your calendar. I'm here with uh, Mazen Gilbert, and Mazen, what are you, you're showing me here? AT&T has a uh, partnership with a couple different uh, companies here. Cha Cha is what we're going to begin with, and tell me what what this uh, application does here. This is a question answering application in which that you're on the road, uh, you have your mobile phone, you have a question, and you want to know the answer to this question. What we've done is that we've partnered with a company called Cha Cha, where what well, we've taken their their enormous database of 400 million uh, questions and answers. We've combined that with our technology, our speech recognition, Watson technology, put the two together to provide people the ability to ask a question through voice or text and get an answer to this question almost instantly. So let's do a demonstration here. Okay, so I can do a very simple demonstration like, um, what's the capital of France? Um, I just asked a very simple question. What happens is that you'll get the recognition of what's the capital of France. Right. And here are three possible answers for this. You can see that the first one is really the right answer, is that this is the capital of France, and it's located at 40. It gives you basically the location. Okay. Now, if you ask a question out of our 400 million questions, and we are adding one million question a day. That's One what million questions a day. One million question a day. That's what the company Chacha is doing. If you ask a question that we don't have in our database, uh, then what basically happens happens is that you can send that question to a guide. Okay. And Chacha has these guides all around the United States that takes that question and answer that question for you within about less than five minutes. Send a message to Troy Cross. I'm in Washington, D.C., leaving for San Diego tomorrow. We're here with Jay Wilpon. And Jay, AT&T has a partnership with Flingo. And you're going to show me some of the uh, technologies that are going to be available, are yes. available now? Yes. AT&T, we're trying to make our technology available to anybody by putting it in our network and just publishing interfaces to let anybody interface it with. Vlingo is one of those. So Vlingo is a company that we formed a partnership. They're up in Boston. And what they do is make it easier to interact with your device. As you know, trying to type on these devices is not the easiest thing in the world. But if I could just go update Facebook, I'm in Washington, D.C., not type anything, not do anything, and have the system realize I'm in Washington, D.C., it recognized it was Facebook. It needed to update Facebook. I update my status of Facebook, and it's done. 
So without touching a keyboard, without doing anything, I've been able to update Facebook. But I want to do other things. Um, I may want, I'm on my way home and I want to get a recipe. Um, Italian spaghetti recipes. So again, now I want to do a web search. So the recognizer finds Italian recipes, it goes off, it looks up in Yahoo, it finds all the different places where you, or all different recipes that are online, and I could search for any of those. But other things that you could think of, which would be easy, is let's say I want to do messaging. As we all know, for safety reasons, whatever, in a car, you don't want to type. You don't, right. you want, but you want to continue to get your messages, your email, your voicemail. Well, instead of typing, I could go send a message to Troy Cross. I'm in Washington, D.C., leaving for San Diego tomorrow. So I can just talk one button, never type, never touch anything. And again, it, get, it figures oh, out who it's for. I'm in Washington, D.C., leaving for San Diego tomorrow. And then if it's OK, I send it, and I'm done. So this is actually making it a lot safer. A lot safer. So you don't have to worry about everybody texting while they're driving or emailing or doing anything. In fact, which you couldn't hear here because of the noise, it actually will speak back to you. So you could actually check out to make sure that it's, that it's the message that you want. If you want to be able to edit things out, you could fix the words. But this is meant to be you say it and you're done.